Hello everyone. Today I am on Crafty YouTube channel and I'll be showing you how to make a box and I'll be using these uh, 3D decoupage sheet to decorate my box. As you all know this is the season for gifting so we all gift rakhis and chocolates to our uh, siblings. So what better way to gift it in a handmade box? So let's begin. So for that I will be making a box. So I am using this green cardstock which measures 7.5 by 10 inches and I have scored on 1 inches on all 4 sides and I have given a slit on the shorter side. Similarly I have taken the base, white base, I wanted a white base so I have taken a white base. Now why I have uh, like the base the height of my box I wanted 2 inches so I have taken it 9.5 by 12 inches and scored it at 2 inches from all 4 sides and on the shorter side I have again given a slit so now let's assemble this box so now I will just glue the edges to make it into a proper box on both the lid and the box so now I have stick and the box gets closed easily now let's begin the decoration part so I have used this 3d decoupage sheet it says red roses so uh, what I'll be doing I'll be using uh, fussy cutting this and to make my work easier I have just fussy cut these the additional which will be going on top the 3d parts now what I did just to make my uh, I remember which part is for which one I just wrote fussy cut and wrote numbers on behind so while sticking I don't make a mistake so I'll just fussy cut this first I'll I am done with my fussy cutting and this is our box now see how pretty this is looking isn't it looking such beautiful if you leave it just like this also I am just loving it so now what I will do I will just stick this first and then I will do the 3d part Now comes the 3D part. So if you see the, if you go and see, the instructions are very clearly mentioned. Now over here, it is up to you if you want to uh, give them a little bit of embossing. But for this particular box, I don't want to emboss it. I'll be just layering it this way. So now what I'll do, I'll just take my double-sided tape and I'll stick it see it is so easy to layer now what I did I told uh, I have fussy cut and written the names so this is our A flower this is B and this is C so what it is this is C1 so means this will come first now I look for C2 so this is C2 C2 will be somewhere over here 
now again these if you layer then only the beauty will be she see so i will just accordingly layer now this is b2 b3 if you follow the steps it's very easy and in few seconds you can just make something very beautiful and gifted so let's start the another way to glue them is using silicone so now i will show you with silicone now i'm using this rtv silicone and i'll just definitely this will be more 3d than the uh, foam tape one now again i'll look for B two, so this is our B two. Now, if you want, what you can do is you can put a tape over here, so that will give a little less three D look. now this makes our 3d part complete but since it's a festive bo bo box so we need some more things so over here what i decided i decided to use some craft tree chiplets and uh, i think this will go very well with the box so i am taking this it is ctc038 this is like a so easy to remove now i'll put one over here and i'll first remove it and then i'll see how will i go with it and one we can put on this corner Now I want to add some more so I think I'll go with these kind of scrolls
now you can see how beautiful it is looking but still i want to add a little bit of glitter so i'll do go and do. now what i'll do i'll take the stickles and i'll just add it somewhere i don't want too much just a little bit shine so i'll add it somewhere just to give a little festive look to my box So here we complete our project. So can you see how beautifully you can make a box in just few minutes? So enjoy and happy crafting.